to read this verse. Araba leng the same. This verse must not trouble you. The same is It's part of, of what I'm preaching now. Ke Carlo ya ntweki bolelanga na Joan. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Can you read from verse 31, Mama? Matthew 25, verse 31. But when the Son of Man comes in his glory and majesty, yes. and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him for judgment, and he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates his sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep on his right, the place of honor, meaning, and the goats on his left, the place of rejection. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you blessed of my father, meaning you favored of God, appointed to eternal salvation. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me with the help and minister, ministering care. I was in prison, and you came to me, ignoring personal danger. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? And when did we see you as a stranger and invite you in or naked and clothed you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and we come to you? The king will answer and say to them, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, to the exempt that you did it for, one of these brothers of mine, even the least of them, you did it for me. Then he will say to those on his left, leave me, you cursed ones, into the eternal fire, which has been prepared for the devil and his angel, meaning demons. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. With help and ministering care. Then they also, in their turn, will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty? or as a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to you. Then he will reply to them, I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, to the extent that you did not do it for one of the least of these my followers, you did not do it for me, then these unbelieving people will go away into eternal, unending punishment, but those who are righteous and in right standing with God will go by his, by his remarkable grace into eternal unending life. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I don't know if I read, I read that scripture very well. I felt like that scripture was not referring to unbelievers. Our judgment will be coming from Christians that we have neglected. That scripture I never heard like it's talking about unbelievers. It says, if you didn't do to the least of my followers. It says like that. Can you just go and read again? Sorry, go and read that verse. We, we, we check. Yes. 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 Yes.
Can you just read verse 37 maybe? It's better. The regular language verse 37. Mm. It says, Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, thirsty and give you something to drink? And when did we see you as a stranger and invite you in, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? Then the king will answer and say to them, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, to the extent that you did it for one of these brothers of mine, even the least of them, you did it for me. Did you hear that? Equally. Is this saying unbelievers? Okay, okay let's read uh, the last one. 45, 45, 46. Uh -huh. Then he will reply to them, I assure you, mm. and most solemnly say to you, to the extent that you did not do it for one of the least of these, meaning my followers, you did not do it for me. My God. Did you hear that? Little. Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We need to offer right justice. Just right justice. Tuko. What is just, justice? Tuko because when we talk about justice, it questions your responsibility. How will I to go? How in love, you treat others fairly. That is justice for you. Fairly. Now we can see that by what we have read, our judgment is not far away from us. Is with people we are fellowshipping with. In fact, I want to talk when I'm turning here. It's with people we worship with. These people you worship with, listen. I understand why Jesus said this. Number one, Jesus said, if you if you are my disciple, love one another. Therefore, it means you know each other. How can you love a person you have never seen? If we are in a church, we need to know each other. We need to love each other. Knowing each other is loving Loving each other is knowing each other. Because the responsibility of your ability will be such thereof. If we read here, the believers who were separated in the last day to be sheep, they were told that you people here, you have done something to other believers. Even to the least ones. Those believers you have done, you were doing that to me. Come, come now. To unbelievers. You know, it's Possible that unbeliever can support Christians. It is impossible for an unbeliever to understand the things of God. Here, God wants us to offer a right justice. Fairly to administer love whereby we are able to take care of one another. Let us be a church where we take care of one another. A church 
that look at each other weakness. And they use their strength to cancel that weakness. Let us be a church because we are going to be judged by the brother and the sister who is with us. Our judgment is not far away from us. If you are hearing me say, I am Many of you, if you can hear that, there is a joy. you are working, you travel Overnight. to go and take your cousin and as you have a brother who said Baba was close to you. I want to tell you that many challenges you have to go are coming from your relatives. They are not coming from your Christian brothers or your sisters. God wants to show his wisdom by his church. If we come together and we take care of one another, the love of God will flow like the waters of the sea. And people will be saved easily. A church that share what they have is bound to it's bound to grow. We are so much selfish. We love to connect ourselves to those who connect us. We love to look what we need. We love to build friendship. Where we will benefit. Our judgment is based on the brother or sister. If we are failing to do what is right physically, why do one Tell us this. Why you are feeling to minister the physical needs to your brother and your sister. But you want to see a vision. Visions will never come. As you are feeling in the physical. Your connection. Of seeing things in the spirit. Starts from sharing. And taking care of one another. I want to tell you something you don't know. If I give you money. I'm already in your house. I don't know if you are hearing me. I have to experience what you experience. I have to feel what you are feeling. People are not the flesh. Are the if physical. I give you my thing. I give you myself. I don't know if you are hearing me. I have to know what another one is facing. The reasons why today we are in the dark. We have disconnected ourselves with what we can do to others. And this has brought judgment. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. It has brought judgment to us. We cannot succeed now. Because if I cannot reach this brother physically and I want to reach him in the spirit it's not possible it's not possible you have got nothing to do with it when love is about it lightens everyone and make you to have light. Do the right thing. Tell about you need to do the right thing. Stop favoring people and love everyone. Whoever is around you is your brother, is your sister. Check around you. You will find people that you need to take care of. Check around you. Don't go far. When you're in the church, 
church. You are do just things. You don't go far. You need to love your brother. You need to love your sister. You are beginning a road of staying in the spirit. That is justice for you. Listen, there's no justice without treatment. How you treat your brother that's how you'll be treated. If you want Jesus to accept, to accept someone who cannot be accepted. If you want to receive things that nobody has ever seen, do something that nobody has ever done. I don't know if you're hearing me. God is not a magician. He's looking at our hearts. We need to know that we need to offer right justice. Let's offer right justice. You know, uh, I was telling people. It happens. I was telling people that if you just go to my wife and say I have a problem, please. Oh, my it doesn't end there. I feel more. She will cry. Come and tell me. And say, we have a child of you. This and this is this. And this and that. I will look at her eyes. I will see that she, I know what she's talking about. And I will ask, what are you thinking? Uh, she will say, ah, no, I said I'll speak with the DD. Okay, let's take care of it. Okay, I'll go and speak with him. There was a day where I said to no, let's not take care of that person. She said, okay. She just agreed. But deep down, I could hear that no, I was just saying this, I wasn't deceiving her. And I said, uh, let's take care of it. She says, okay. I said, why are you agreeable? Why are you doing that? She says, because you will never go wrong. Take care of people. Has lifted us. Take care of people. Has lifted us. Has lifted us. Has lifted us. Can I tell you this? If you start to take care of other people, that is your promotion. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are listening. You, you are not demanding anything to a person. You are, you are helping that person to be more better. You are helping that person to be more better. When someone is helping that person to be more better, when someone comes and asks anything from you, you are helping that person to be more better. You are helping that person to be more better. He's asking you to receive something better from God. He, 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 that person is no small. It's a test of you to offer a right justice. I don't know if you're hearing I don't want to talk too much. Let's raise baby the last kid. Ask somebody says, are you really offering right justice? First Peter 2. Chapter 2. 22, 23. Peter 2, 22, 23. Yes. First Peter 2, 2023. By Peter Roma Matomo chapter 2. Yes. The value of verse 20. Mm. 20 22. 20 to 23. 20 to 23. Yes. First Peter says, after all, what kind of credit is there if when you do wrong and are punished for it, yes. you endure it patiently. But if when you do what is right and patiently bear undeserved suffering, this finds favor with God. For as a believer, you have been called for this purpose. Since Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you may follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, nor was deceit ever found in his mouth. While being reviled and insulted, he did not revile or insult in return. While suffering, 
He made no threats of vengeance, but kept entrusting himself to him who judges fairly. Did you hear that? We are called to live like Christ. I'm sure we are still far. I'm sure we are still far. I'm sure we can begin. Let's allow God to help us to start now. Let's allow God to help us to be like him. He suffered for us. Let's suffer for others. You know, you know, uh, I'm saying this, this message is touching my heart. But don't worry, I'm not talking about other pastors, I'm talking about myself. We have, we have built our own empires. We have not suffered enough. You know, you know the reasons why many people today want to be pastors? Because we have built our own empire. I don't know if you're hearing me. Now everybody is admiring to be like us. We have not done enough to help others. Yeah, yesterday I was thinking about this when God was telling me. I said, when I was preaching, I said to Freddy, I want to start a group. That group, Freddy asked me a name. God has not told me. I didn't answer him. Did I answer you? Yeah, because God didn't tell him. Yeah, so I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. And I said, I want to start a group. Truly, 50 years come here. Have me why 50 katamo. All of you here, you won't be around. Kamo kare na mo taba resiyo. All of us here won't be around. Kamo kare taba resiyo kamo le fati. What about our empires? Jano mi bu soyeri arang anajuale. I went to Capernaum. Kile Capernaum. Even in Jerusalem. Go Jerusalem. In fact, what 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 I wanted to see was. Buti buti. Where is the house of Jesus? I understand why Jesus says, you know, fox have good holes. We are so much focusing on what we need to have. God must help us. God must really help all of us here today to see the gospel in a different way. These are the things we, I, you know, I went to the house of Peter. Remember Peter was catching fish. He was able to make a business and sell the fish. He a business and sell the fish. He was building his house. His house is still there. Even Jesus used to go there. But here the Bible didn't say. Let's follow the example of Peter. Let's follow the example of Peter. It says, let's follow the example of Peter. It says, let's follow the example of Jesus. He suffered for us. Let's suffer for others. Let's suffer for others. I don't know if you are hearing that. Let's suffer for others. 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 Let's suffer for others
Jesus. Hey, really? uh, you know, you know, uh, one day I bought a car, which was, which, was really expensive, which was really expensive, and and I supposed to have now all those dreams when I was buying car. And I said, what about the orphan? What about those who cannot do it in the church? So we just read, Mama. 16 and 17. Uh -huh. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Get your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing evil. Uh -huh. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the ruthless. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the right of the widow in court. Did you hear that? Defend. Rebook. Hala. There are some people we need to rebook them. Can you just read 16, uh, 17? 17. 17. Uh -huh. Learn to do good. Seek justice. justice yes. Rebuke the ruthless. The ruthless. Defend the fatherless. The fatherless. Plead for the right of the widow in court. My God. My God. Amen. This scripture is telling us that the fatherless, the widows, are there to check if we know God. Justice in the last day when we ask what kind of justice we There are ruthless. We must rebook them. Don't do this. It's wrong for you to do this. It's wrong. You know, me, I love, I love to reprimand. As, as long as if I love him. As long as I check, do I love this person? Yes. Then, okay, let me reprimand. But if I don't love you, I will call you aside. It's not that I don't love you. I still love you, but I yeah, don't right love you. Right. In fact, there's love and lo loving you. I call you aside. And I said, I don't love what you're doing. When I say I don't love you, I mean what you're doing. You stop this. You are not children. You must stop this thing. You are a child. Too. You love him. But we don't love what you are doing. If we don't reach a level where we make everything straight, why do you want God to visit us? Let's start to offer red justice. God will visit you. God bless you.